Hey friends, I am so excited because today is the day that we check in for our Disney Cruise Line vacation. I thought it would be kind of fun to show the process of what it's like to check in for a Disney cruise and kind of give you an insight of what's happening. So without further ado, let's check into our Disney cruise. Here we go. Okay, so basics. Um, we are sailing on the Disney Dream on a June 20th sailing, which is a seven night Mediterranean cruise itinerary. I am so pumped. I am mainly pumped because we have sailed on the Disney Dream before our very first Disney cruise ever. And it was a three night Bahamian cruise. So we stopped at Nassau Bahamas and then at Castaway Key. I was ill like that entire time. I was so seasick. I was miserable. It was very rough waters. It was just not a fun time for me. So I did not explore the ship at all. I did not go to any lounges, any bars. I barely remember the restaurants because I was so like highly medicated. <laughs> It just wasn't fun, but this will be different. So something to know about Disney Cruise Line is they have what's called the Castaway Club. Once you first sail with Disney Cruise, you are automatically enrolled in the club and there are different tiers. So there's silver, gold, platinum, and very most, very recently, pearl. Now we are in the silver tier because we have only sailed this will be our fourth sailing on the Disney, or my fourth sailing on the Disney cruise. So technically we are at that second level. Entry level, like first time cruisers are the first level and then it just keeps going up. But depending on what tier you are, depends on when you could book your port adventures, any excursions, adult dining, things like that. And then it also determines when you are able to check in. Now as a silver castaway club member, I am able to check in 33 days prior to my sailing, which is today. Was I prepared to do that at midnight tonight when it opens? No, I was not. Um, I was sleeping. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay because you have plenty of time to check in. The main reason people like to check in right at that mark is if there is a specific port arrival time where you want to get to the port and you want to be one of the first people on the ship. Um, it's a little different for us because we're sailing out of Rome and we kind of want to do some things in Rome so we're not like rushing to get to the port right away that morning. It's all, don't worry, I'm planning on vlogging this trip. It's gonna be great. So entry level guests check in at 30 days and then it goes silver at 33, gold at 35, platinum at 38, and pearl castaway club members at 40. So let's take a look at what this process looks like on the computer and go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna be hiding our reservation number here just for reasons. But as you can see, we are on the seven night Mediterranean with Greek Isles cruise from Rome with the silver anniversary at sea. And that just means that it is the anniversary of, it's the 25th anniversary of Disney Cruise Line. So there's like extra special fun things. And we are sailing June 20th through 27th. You'll notice that it says stateroom GTY. That means stateroom guarantee. So we have currently not been assigned a stateroom yet. And I am patiently, <laughs> patiently waiting for that to happen. But we do have a deluxe ocean view stateroom with a navigator's veranda. Um, so we do know that that is confirmed, but that is all we know so far. So hopefully any day now they will assign us a room because I'm just curious, you know? So when you scroll down a little further, you will see online check-in. Um, it, it will tell you going up. So if you're like, I don't know, I don't remember when my check-in day is. Anytime you log into your Disney Cruise profile, it will let you know what day. So obviously it tells us it is May 18th. That is what today is. Um, to fill out cruise documents, register kids for youth clubs, select your port arrival time, things like that. So again, the registering for the youth clubs and the port arrival time, that is the reason you would want to check in as soon as possible. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'll read it, it says guests will not be permitted at the terminal or in the parking areas before their scheduled time. So it's basically a way to keep everybody from showing up at the same time because it can get a little congested. Um, they may not even let you in the port waiting time. Obviously I've never been to the Rome port so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to be. Um, but we are in for a treat. And let's check in. Let's see what it's 
See what it's showing me here. Aw, look at how cute this is. Make boarding the ship a breeze. Check in now. All right, let's do that. So these are just all of the things. You, if for some reason you don't want to do this all at once, It'll save. You don't have to check in until three days prior, I believe it is. So this shows part of it. I will say once I click this open, it's going to have your address on there. I will obviously not show you any of that, but I'll scroll down, scroll down further, but they will need like your address and your emergency contact. Okay, so in fact, since the last time I started recording, I did stop and it's been now like a week and a half. So you do not have to check in right away. Just goes to show but if you do want a priority boarding time then you should check in early we do not care so here i am being lazy i put in our passport information and our little headshot selfies like they requested and that will be pending approval for a while it's not going to happen right away so don't sweat about that next is onboard account and this is going to be to show like the credit card that you want on um on board. So we do want to store a credit card. You'll have to fill out the information here and then below it will just say if you want whoever is in your same stateroom to have that access to the credit card or if you each want to have your own separate payment methods, um, which is nice. And then you just have to check that you assume responsibility for all the amounts incurred during your trip. And yeah, so I'm going to fill this out right now. Um, please note, so here's the cash account so basically you pay cash on your account anytime by visiting guest services it's the same thing if you have like disney gift cards you'll go to guest services on the ship and give them the gift card to put onto your account um also if you book through a travel agent you'll get onboard credit which is really really great and that will automatically be put onto your account um so just keeping that in mind Okay, since we have one card shared amongst the both of us, we only had to do one account. So that shows our onboard account is complete. Travel plans, let's check out what it says. So you're going to have to fill this out for each member of your party. Um, they really like to know everything that you're going to do. So are you flying in for your cruise vacation? Yes, both ways. How many flight segments? Like they really need to know literally everything. So filling out the flight information, good golly, it really is a lot. After your cruise, where are we going? We're going to another address. So you have to put in the address that you're going to, how we're leaving the terminal, things like that. You'll see Disney transfers is not an option. That's because I put another hotel or address and Disney transfers only goes to certain places. Um, Jace will share the same travel plans as me, so I will click this, but let me fill this out and I will come back. FYI, this process can be very frustrating because Jace was up here helping me, obviously, with like the flight information and getting the address to the Airbnb we're going to afterward. <laughs> and he like couldn't pull it up, but now he like stormed off. Um, so it's a true test before your vacation, just how stressful the check-in process can be. So give yourself some grace. All right, after that chaos, <laughs> we're back. We got the address. Did I fill the Italian address out correctly? I don't know, but it says my plans are complete. Here is where you select the port arrival time. This is what people really, really aim for. Some people want the earliest time possible to get on the boat. But for us, we will be in Rome that morning and taking the train up. And the train honestly takes like, what, like an hour and a half or something? I'm asking as if Jace is still standing behind me and he left. What? It's not that long, he says. Um, but these are all the optional times. 12.30 is way too early in my opinion, but as you can see, we can come as late as 3 to 3.15 for a port arrival time. I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna wait until Jace is back. Also keep in mind that once we get to the port, we have to take like a shuttle from the train or something. I'm not entirely sure. 2 p.m. We're going to select the 2 to 2.15 time. As you can see, it tells you all this stuff. Great. Continue. And then you have to read through your cruise contract. So as you see, all of these are good to go. That is still pending approval. Again, that is normal. You should read your contract. And guess what? We're going to complete the check-in. Complete. 
Okay, so you will get your port arrival form. Um, it says do not pack your port arrival form in checked luggage. Um, we will not do that. We are carrying on our luggage. But you will see we have our boarding group of 24 out of Rome on the Dream. And then it has like little QR codes that they will use to scan us. And then you can actually add those to your wallet, which is really, if you have a mobile wallet, you can actually add those, which is super. You, I will also print out these forms just to have it and keep it in my documents. It is also important to note the do's and don'ts of arriving at port. Like for example, if you're planning on bringing alcohol on, if you are of age, that can only go in your carry-on luggage. So do not bring that in your checked luggage. Um, that's like the number one thing. I'm always like, wait, it has to go in our carry-on. Do not forget. Um, and then prohibited items as well. I like steamers are not allowed on cruises. There's a whole section of prohibited items. So definitely check those out before you sail. But yeah, so we are all checked in. Now this cruise is going to be really exciting and it's really jam packed and we are not even fully sure of what we are doing. We have our excursions booked, but even today, like we leave in almost three weeks and we decided that there's one excursion that we do not want to do and we want to do another one instead. So we are continuously trying to plan and also outside of the cruise trying to figure out what we want to do because we are going to Italy at the peak tourist time this summer, which is fine. Um, but that just means we have to be a little more prepared with reservations, with train tickets and things like that, which we do have all of those at least, but like museum entries, anything that we want to do, we have to plan that ahead of time. Um, I am so excited. Hopefully that was a helpful way to show how simple it is <laughs> if you have your flight information and addresses in front of you um, to check in for Disney Cruise Line. It's also good to know to like sit down with your party. What time do you guys plan on arriving to port? What is everybody's travel plans before and after the cruise? Getting all of their payment information ready and stuff like that. So as you can see, like you still have to check in, I think it's 72 hours before your cruise. So ensure you do that at least a couple weeks in advance, um, just because ease, you know what I mean? But I'm so excited. I do plan to vlog this entire trip. Um, so that will be very interesting. Um, definitely at least the Disney Cruise Line portion of it. I probably won't plan to vlog afterward, but I'm so excited. Let me know if you have done the Disney Cruise Line Mediterranean cruises. What were your favorite ports? Did you have any favorite port adventures? I will also be starting packing. And guess what, guys? You guessed it. I am packing literally everything in a carry-on. Everything in a carry-on. For two whole weeks. Two full weeks in a carry-on. Can I do it? I'm going to go with probably not. But we're going to find out. And that will be coming up soon. <laughs> I'm so nervous but it's gonna be great. I'm so excited. All right, well, let me know if you have any questions or any insight on traveling to Italy in the summer because I could give you the other cities if you have tips, tricks, restaurants, foods, like quick, not quick service, but like, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, see you all in my next video. Bye.